everyone, and welcome to day five of, why am I always getting these glares? Welcome to day five of my 12 days of Christmas countdown. Um, it is Saturday morning. It's a little past eight o'clock. I keep looking at that clock up there. I moved it. It's over there now. Oh wait, it's almost nine o'clock. Sorry. It's flying by and I don't even know it. Um, I am getting ready to go to the grocery store because I finally want to do my baking today, which I was supposed to do earlier in the week, but I didn't get it done. So, now all the eggs that I was going to use for baking have been eaten, so now I need to go get more eggs. So that is my plan, then I'll come back and get some stuff taken care of for the day. Um, I also need to edit a post today about my cubbies that I keep saying I'm going to do, but I haven't yet done it. Um, and then I'm hoping to get a little painting project done. I bought a mirror a couple of weeks ago, and I really want to get it painted. So I would like to get that done today also. So, yes. So it should be a busy, busy day today. I think Emily and Jen Zoe are going over to a friend's house this afternoon to hang out. So they're looking forward to that for a couple hours. So, yeah. Not a lot, but enough to keep us busy for the day for sure. So I am going to head to the grocery store, and I will check in with you later. Oh, you guys, I just had the most amazing nap ever. I went downstairs at about, oh, I don't know what time it was. It was probably about 9.30 or so, and I was hungry, so I'm like, I've been up since you know, five o'clock, and I'm kind of tired, and I'm really, really hungry, so I'll sit and watch some TV for a little bit, have like a little breakfast, lunch kind of situation, and I'll just watch the show for a little bit. So I ate some food, and I fell asleep, like it's always back <laughs> And then I proceeded to fall asleep for like two and a half hours. It was awesome. Somewhere around in there, I got woke up by this person. Because we were supposed to go get my Polaroid camera. Because I messed up, didn't. people. I messed up. I apologize. I'm sorry. Now I have to wait till tomorrow. Now I have to wait till tomorrow. She has been but waiting. But the bank isn't even open tomorrow, so we have to go on Monday. No, well, I, we can walk around that, okay? So just relax. Simmer down. Let me talk to my people. So anyways. I was supposed to take her to go get a Polaroid camera that she has been saving up for. And she finally, yesterday, I got enough money for it. So she wanted me to take her to the bank, take her to the store to buy it. Well, her father offered to do this for her, but she, oh, there's enough money. <laughs> but she decided, no, she wants me to do it, not dad, which is fine. But yeah, I feel terrible that I fell asleep and didn't take her. But one day is not going to make that much difference. Plus, she's going to a sleepover now. So she should be so complaining. She was going to go over to her friend's house with her older friend, Emily. They both have friends. And they, <coughs> they both have a kid in each of their grades. So they were, oh, they're all friends, kind of. Yeah. So they were going to go to a, um, I can't talk, I'm sorry. They went, they were going to go have a, like, you know, just a little get together this afternoon. Well, this morning it turned into a sleepover. So, the get together is not a sleepover. So, you can't complain. You're going to go do something fun anyways. Yeah, but I wanted soda. We got soda. Oh, well. It'll be fine. You will survive. Anyways. So, yes. That is what's happening. So I have not started my cookie baking yet. I will do that when I get home. I probably leave here in about 10 minutes to take them to this sleepover that they're going to anyway. So that is what is happening over here. So yeah. So it's almost 3 o'clock already. And I really haven't done very much for the day. I mean, I got a lot done this morning, but... So I'm going to have to get some baking done. I'm going to get some, my buns are moving when I get home. 
So that is my plan. I will check in with you later. No. Emily, no did you fall down the steps? No. I can see you over there. No. I can see you. No. Yeah, I can. So I got a little thing today, a little email giving us instructions. About the dog? About the dog. It sounds like it. They didn't say so in so many words. They just kind of tell us what we need to do next. What do we need to do next? Well, there's a contract. It has to be signed by like three different people. First, the contract's got to be signed by like the, you know, coordinator person. Then she sends it to the foster parents that we met last night. They sign it, and then we sign it. Okay. Once we sign it, or before we sign it, we have to pay the money. Once we have it all signed and they have the payment of money, then the lady that sent us the email will give the foster parents the okay email saying payment is received and all that. And you guys can go ahead and set up a date to pick up the dog. Are we going to pick it up Friday? I'm not sure when. We're, it looks like we're probably going to pick it up on Saturday. Oh, that's, gonna be, that's our Christmas, right? That's our Christmas day, so that'll actually work out just right. Wow! Christmas puppy! A Christmas puppy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then, <laughs> so yeah, that's all if... That's all if everything goes according to plan and his little surgery today goes well. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. As many points as he possibly can. And we'll see how that shapes up for J.R. Selsky, who really needs to get first or second here in the next rounds to come. But Pivarola with a huge gap on the rest of the pack, skating very well. Cruises easily. And then, look at that move by Kiki Lachir just trying to make it by. Hello there. So I have been taking quite the lazy day today. I know I was said I was gonna get some cookie baking done. It hasn't happened yet. It is, it's only 5.30, so the whole day isn't gone. And I've got plenty of time to bake some cookies. So that's what I'm probably gonna do. I spent the afternoon, at three o'clock I dropped the girls off at a friend's house for a sleepover, two of my three girls, and then, um. My lighting is just terrible in here. I'm sorry. Anyways, so now it's 5.30. I should really make some dinner for my people, but I think I'm just going to let people like fend for themselves tonight. And I'm going to work on baking some cookies finally. Because I didn't do it this afternoon, I sat and watched um, speed skating qualifications for the, um, what do you call it, for the Olympics. I love speed skating. I like sports in general, but I really like watching speed skating. That's so much fun. So I watched that, and now it's 5.30, and I feel like I haven't done anything with my life all day long. <laughs> but it was a good time. I had a great nap this afternoon, and then, yeah. So I'm going to get myself busy, bake some cookies, and hopefully salvage some of this day so I don't feel so far behind for tomorrow so that's my plan and i'm gonna get started talk to you in a bit So I got through those cookies really fast. It is a little after eight, and I just took the very last batch out of the oven. So I'll show you what I did. 
So I have a couple batches of oatmeal cookies, a couple batches of snickerdoodles, and then I have this batch over here of like salted caramel, I think they call them. So I've already taken the ones out that I'm going to use to take to my mom's, except for I need to take some of these. But I'm going to let them cool a little longer. And then the rest of them, I will put some of these in a tin that will eat out of for a little while, and the rest I'm going to freeze for some other time when we need a little treat. So that is cool to have done. So now I am just going to sit down. I've got a roast in the oven, so dinner's going to be late again tonight, as always. Um, but that's right. My husband has just went down for a nap. He's still sleeping. I suppose I should maybe wake him up soon. I don't know if he wants me to wake him up or not, though. Because he didn't tell me. I didn't even know he was sleeping. I went in there, busted in there, and turned the light on. I'm like, oh, he's in here. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so we're going to eat late tonight. But I'm going to just sit down and do some editing, try to get that um, tutorial on how to make the cubbies, the wall shelf that I showed you yesterday. Finally finished. It's taking me forever. But I'm going to try to get that done tonight. At least work on it a little bit. And then tomorrow, I am sitting pretty for tomorrow. I don't even know what I have on the schedule for tomorrow. Tomorrow is a big day, a big day. There is a Packer game. And the outcome of tomorrow's Packer game determines whether or not we're going to go to the championships. Because if we don't win tomorrow, there's no way we're making it. So, mm, double cross your fingers, everyone. And I think I've heard a rumor that Aaron Rodgers is back for tomorrow's game. So... Not quite sure how I feel about that. I was just talking to my husband about that. I'm like, everyone's putting all their basket, I mean, all their faith in, in Rodgers at this point. And it's like, he's coming back from an injury. He is not going to be 100%, you know? So anyways, there's a little something for you. <laughs> so anyways, so my sister and her family will obviously be coming over. I kind of need to get the house cleaned up for them. It's pretty good because it was pretty clean yesterday for when the dog came over to visit us. But, you know, a little bit of wear and tear has accumulated around the house today. So I'll do a little bit of cleaning. And then I never did get to that painting project today, so I'm hoping that I can do that tomorrow before the game starts because I don't have to cook dinner or I don't have to cook the food for the Packer game this time. It's my sister's. My sister's um, turn, but oh my goodness, she just sent me a text a little while ago, and she sent me a picture, and <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but it's kind of funny. She has two little, she has two boys, two sons, and one of them is art, uh, both of them are, are autistic, and. <laughs> And they normally leave the tree alone, but her oldest son was on a tear today, so she sent me a picture. <laughs> Can't really talk about it. The tree is on the floor, and the ornaments and everything from the tree are like scattered everywhere. And she's like, "Oh my goodness, is it bedtime yet? I don't think I'm gonna make it." And it was like three o'clock, four o'clock that she sent me this. So hopefully. <laughs> She just said he has just been in a terror all day long. So hopefully he has calmed down finally. And yeah. The tree actually has been up at their house for a really long time. It's been up since right after Thanksgiving. And this is the first time that it's been knocked down. Which is a new record because they normally have to. It's in a new spot this year because they normally have like to attach it to the ceiling also so that he can't tip the tree over. So they have this hook on the ceiling that they attach the tree to <laughs> so he can't pull it over. So then just the ornaments just get thrown around. But anyways, I shouldn't be laughing. It's terrible. It's terrible, I know. But at the same time, I know my sister is probably, now that it's over and done with, she's probably laughing about it too. But I mean, what else are you going to do in that situation? <laughs> Anyways, oh man. Sometimes I wonder about the kids. 
Like, what are they thinking when they're doing stuff like that? But anyways. <coughs> so anyways, I'm going to let you go. Thanks so much for spending the day with me again. I know I wasn't very exciting with just all this chatting that I'm doing lately. But, um, yeah, I will try to try to work out some more projects and stuff like that. But as you all know, I'm just not really feeling a whole lot of motivation lately. Just trying to get better for my cold. But that's my main focus at this point and finish up and get ready for Christmas, obviously. But, yeah. So, I, which reminds me, I need to make another order on Amazon tonight. I've got a few more presents that I still need to buy. And something for my dad. His present this year is just causing me problems. <laughs>